welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I filmed a video. Um, I think it might be a year since I last filmed. I did need to take some time off. Um, of course, it wasn't my intention to take this long of a break, but we all know everything that's been going on in this world and I definitely felt completely uninspired and I wasn't wearing any makeup so you know I just didn't have the need to really film I didn't have the energy I was um, emotionally you know a little down as I'm sure a lot of us were so I'm sure that you guys can understand but you know the holiday season now is upon us and I'm definitely feeling a little bit more inspired and I wanted to bring you guys some holiday makeup looks that we can wear you know in our homes <laughs> because we can't go anywhere <laughs> oh my god but anyways um, so I came up with this look and the palettes that I used for this were the so jaded palette and I also used the Tati Beauty palette and I absolutely love how it turned out I think it looks very very nice and it's super easy for anyone to create you don't have to be a pro um, so yeah if you guys want to know how I got this look then keep on watching all right guys so let's get started by priming our lids I am using the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer and I'm buffing it out with this Real Techniques brush. And I'm gonna jump right into the Tati Beauty and I'm gonna choose the shade Soothe in the matte finish. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid and this is going to act as a buffer for the other eyeshadows that I'm going to apply and I'm, I'll be able to blend out the shadows a little bit better. So I'm gonna go into the So Jaded palette and I'm going to pick the shade Garnet and I am going to apply it directly to my crease. I am really going to build this up and also blend it out with the Soothe shade back and forth, back and forth until I get the build that I want. Of course I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Next thing I'm going to do is sharpen the edge of the eyeshadow that I just applied with the same concealer and this concealer brush just to give it a refined look and then I'm gonna pick up the Stila Cosmetics Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in Smoky Storm and I'm going to apply this all over the lid and this is in preparation for the glitter eyeshadow that I am going to put over top it and I went with the shade Poet in the glitter finish from the Tati Beauty palette. And I have to say this a glitter is so beautiful. It is so stunning. And I really love how it brought the eyeshadow look together. And here it is. This is what it looks like. I did have some fallout, so I had to pull out my handy dandy uh, Neutrogena face wipes to just remove the glitter particles that I had on my face and then I'm going to do the eyeliner and I'm using the elf eyeliner you guys do not sleep on this product it is absolutely amazing and it's only three dollars and this is what it looks like I love it so beautiful so simple yet so glam picking up these house of lashes lashes in noir fairy black they really brought the eye look together it just looks absolutely stunning i love it then i'm gonna go into the face now we're gonna do the l'oreal infallible foundation and i'm going to use this morphe kabuki brush which i think is perfect it makes the application of the foundation super easy and then I'm gonna grab the Real Technique Techniques sponge and I'm just going to pat over it a little bit and give it a little bit more loving. And then the same concealer, again, the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. I love this concealer. It is definitely multi-purposeful for me. I use it for everything. I love the coverage. It doesn't sink into my wrinkles too much. It's just perfect. So I just blend that out very well with the Real Technique sponge. 
and then I'm gonna grab the Anastasia setting powder in banana and I apply a generous amount to my under eye and also my face which I did not show here in the video back to the eyes and this time we're working on the lower lash line and we're gonna take the shade that we took from the so jaded palette which I believe is called garnet and we're just going to apply that to the lower lash line and then with the shadow soothe we are going to blend it out now here I applied my eyeliner with this Maybelline gel liner which I love apply some mascara to the lower lashes and then let's highlight the inner corner and for this I used the very lightest shade in the Tati Beauty palette which is Aura in the matte finish and it just gave it such a nice sophisticated look taken the Marc Jacobs uh, bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze my face real quick and this shade from Colourpop Cosmetics it's a blush it's so beautiful it's called I need space and I'm just applying it on the cheeks and then highlighting my face with the wet and wild highlighter in golden flower crown moving on to my lips I am going to take the lip liner from Mac in the shade hover and I'm going to outline my lips make them look a little fuller you know what I mean and then I am going to take the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk to finish this look off. That's all for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it and are able to recreate. And I would love to see your recreations. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I am going to put my Instagram handle here so you guys can go ahead and follow me and tag me on your posts. I would love to see. Uh, there will definitely be more videos headed your way, holiday makeup looks and other makeup videos in general. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.